Hello everyone. So I'm back today for a nature vlog because I did promise I would do one of these and I haven't done any yet this year. So today is the day. I'm away with my mum at the moment and the grounds that we're staying on are so pretty. So I really wanted to film something to show you around. It really is just so pretty here. So I wanted to share it with you. I didn't actually think that I would be able to get up here. I kind of thought it was just for kids, but it was pretty easy and it's like really cozy and comfy. And there's pretty minimal spider webs and stuff. I mean, there's a couple, but the webs seem pretty old, but it's like such a nice view from here. Let me show you. Kind of this netting stuff on the inside, but see through the little window and it's so cool. This is my favorite part of up here is that like big pine tree. It's so nice. Hopefully you can see me well enough. I know the lighting isn't great right now. The lighting's probably going to be pretty awkward for most of this video. Sorry about that. It was like really hot during the day, which is why I chose this time to film, but I did not take into account how awkward it would be. But anyway, I want to show you my outfit. So I tried to go with like a mushroom theme, if you can't tell. So I've got my mushy hat, which I kind of wear all the time now. And my makeup, I don't know how I really feel about my makeup. like. I haven't done it in a while, I haven't practiced in a bit, so I think it could be better, but I do like all the green. <laughs> and then I got this spiked collar, which is new. This is my first time wearing it and it's like really comfy. I also have my little mushroom pendant that I made. I made a whole bunch of these, which I'm planning to sell on my Etsy soon, but I need to get more chain to like put them all on because currently they're just pendants without the chain. So I need to fix that first. <laughs> I have this really cute t-shirt with a frog and some mushrooms. I just love that mushrooms have become like really popular because now it's really easy to get all the cool mushroom stuff. It's like really great. Then I also have this little guy that's so old. And then I have these really cool pants. How nice are they? They're like kind of tie-dye looking and got mushrooms all over them and stuff. And they're really cute. They're like really hard to show you. And the pockets, the pockets are so good. And then I just have my little adventure boots which aren't very interesting but you gotta be practical anyway let's show it to you all together <laughs> all right <laughs> yep that's my outfit anyway let's get exploring it's so bright right now I'm still so surprised that that swing can hold my weight. <laughs> There's so many sounds going on right now. You hear the cows and the bird. <laughs> There's like cows in that paddock behind there. And we also get like heaps of cockatoos and corellas there as well. Oh, there they go. And galahs. Anyway, I'm definitely done with that swing. I kept like losing control and I was worried I was going to like bang into the tree. <laughs> uh, I just love this little spot through here. Got all these really nice trees and they're kind of like far apart, but it still feels like a little forest. And then there's this kind of wild garlic looking stuff. I don't know if it's actually garlic, but <laughs> that's what it makes me think of. You can hear that buzzing sound. There's like this sort of constant low buzzing that you can hear around here. Like part of it is bees, but a whole bunch of it is just flies. Like 
There are so many blowflies around here. I think there's more flies than bees hanging around. And like the flies seem to enjoy the flowers just as much as the bees. It's really interesting. I know that sometimes flies are like pollinators, but I didn't know that about blowflies. I have a feeling they're not. <laughs> Maybe they're just laying eggs there or something. I've got no idea. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like the light is starting to calm down now, so hopefully things are looking a bit better and a bit tamer <laughs> because I was having a really hard time trying to work with that very bright sunlight, but it's kind of like gone down under the trees now, so it's made it a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so we've come up to this like sort of fenced off section with a bunch of pine trees and stuff. I've been in there before and it's really pretty, so we're going to go through. Well, also, I meant to show you these mushrooms. They're like kind of old and dying, but I've got to show you at least one mushroom, right? I was about to put my bag down on the ground and then I realised there was poop everywhere. I totally forgot about the horses here, but there's like horse poop all over the place so I'm not putting this bag down. <laughs> it's finally gotten to golden hour. I just love how it lights up all the branches and all the bugs in the air and stuff. Look at all the pine trees. It's so perfect. <laughs> there are a couple horses around here as well. I got to meet one of them I think yesterday. He's really friendly. I accidentally gave him sour sobs when I thought they were clovers and he spat them out. He did not like them and he did not trust me with like grass after that so kind of ruined my chances there. Oh I see a whole bunch of mushrooms. This looks like a fairy ring. Oh I've got to show you this. It's so weird. I've never seen like a fairy ring of beliefs or slippery jacks, whatever these are. Let me show you real quick. It's almost like a semicircle because it sort of like cuts off there. That is really cool. Hey bug. Hey bug. I haven't actually like properly explored this part. I'm really liking it so far. Like this little group of pine trees is so nice. I see like sheep over there and stuff and this horse is there. It's just like such a nice spot. Pine trees are so underrated. We don't have enough of them here in Australia. Like I know they're introduced and everything, but they're just so nice. They're so cool. They smell good. <laughs> and like all the good mushrooms grow under them. I like them a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's explore them a bit, shall we?
see the sheep. The sheep have spotted me. I can see them looking my way. Also, that, I don't know if it's like a, a corella or a cockatoo, but it sounds so much like my cat. Whenever I hear it, I feel like really on alert because I'm like, oh, my cat wants something, but it's not my cat. It's a bird. But it still gets me every time. I do not trust this swing to be honest. It's like hanging from a gum tree branch, which are kind of notorious for breaking and falling on people. Even though the other one I felt more out of control, I actually prefer that one over this. I think it's like the slope that I'm on because it's kind of like on a hill. I don't know if you can tell, but... Well, oh, hello Raven. <laughs> the Ravens have come to talk. It swings really crooked, I don't know. It feels a bit off. <laughs> it's a really nice view. It's so cool, like where else do you get to swing in the forest? Even with it being crooked, it's still fun. Oh my god, the whole branch is swaying as I'm swinging on this, I only just noticed. The freaking branch, it's swaying so much, it makes me so nervous. How nice is this, the perfect swing? Sorry, you guys are probably getting really dizzy from this. I just heard my Tamagotchi beeping. Oh no, it's sick. I bought this little one from the toy store. It's purple. I think it's a version two. I forgot that like not all of them can connect though, even though I only have one anyway, but yeah, you know how there were the Tamagotchi connects and they'd like visit each other's houses kind of thing. I need to find one of those on eBay, but they're kind of expensive. It turned into an alien. I don't know. Oh, look, there goes the horse. You see him? He's walking around. Hey, horsey! I better go see him soon. There's another forest, like really close by, that I could explore. I don't think I can do it today. Ooh, I've got sticks stuck to my shoes. I might be able to. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so slippery here. I might be able to explore the other forest tomorrow or the next day, but we only have another two and a half or three days left, I think. And I've not been feeling well lately, so I, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to make another video of that forest because I might not be feeling well. But if I do feel well, I will definitely make that video. Yeah, but the other forest is not pine trees, which are my favorite. They are gum trees. Gum trees are still cool, but I don't know. I just I just don't vibe with them in the way that I do with pine trees. So also we're coming very close to the whole sea. Do you see him? Let's say hello to horsey. See if he comes over. Oh the other horse is there too. Oh, there he is right there. And here's the birds that sound like my cat. Over here. That's a good horsey. You're so small. How's it going? Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Can I pet you? I wish I had food that readily available to me. Like you could just eat the floor and it was food. That'd be nice. I mean, I guess I could just eat grass, but not really my thing to be honest. scratching his face. Bye bye horsey. Good to see you. That was a 
probably like 20 minutes of me just filming a horse or whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. I think we're going to have a little snack. i got to go back for dinner soon because mum is making us roast vegetables. I'm very, I'm very excited. Haven't had roast veggies in ages. But you know, let's just have a little snack together and then I will see you off. <laughs> Got some vegan fruit chunks. They look kind of like droppings, but I promise they don't taste like it. Had my snacks, we've said hello to the horse, and I think I'm gonna head back now. It's nearly six o'clock, so I'll probably be heading in for dinner, but I thought we'd just have a little stroll and a, a chat as we go back. This place, I just, I just get such like fairy vibes from it, you know? Like I imagine if like a kid was sort of taken by fairies, this is where they would end up. <laughs> Especially that area with like all the flowers and bees and stuff that I showed you earlier, that kind of made me think of that as well. I also started reading another Holly Black book today. It's one of their newer books, I think it's called The Stolen Air. I started reading it outside and it was like the most perfect environment to be reading a fairy book like that. I feel like nature is always the best place to read Holly Black books. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it is getting dark, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes and I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna head in and eat vegetables, it's gonna be great. Hello blackbird. So thank you for hanging out with me for this little nature adventure, it's been very fun. I'm really hoping that we can come back again next year, maybe when it's like a little cooler because it's currently spring and spring just gets hot so fast here. I don't know if it's like the same for you where you are but man it's, it's getting hot really fast. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.